We're here in Palmer, Mass. Uh, to support uh, Mr. Noon. His uh, property is under threat of uh, being seized. What will happen to Jay Noon today if he decides he doesn't want to be evicted? Well, we'll have to wait and see, won't we? No, no. There's an answer to that question. There's an answer to it? Well, I'm not going to give it. Why? Are you afraid to mention the violence? I'm not afraid of anything. I'm are, you not afraid afraid of to, anything. are you afraid to admit to the violence inherent in your system? I ain't doing this just for me. This is by no means a selfish thing. I am uh, <clears throat> standing up for the private property rights of everybody. Hey, this is uh, Jay Noon. Uh, my legal name's Joseph Francis Noon. People taking stands for all kinds of issues. And um, I'm just, my personal stand is uh, private property. Um, and I, uh, I got the land to work with to do it. Most people don't have that. I don't have a commercial mortgage uh, through a bank. Uh, so I'm in a situation where I can. I'm also in a situation to where if I was homeless tomorrow, <clears throat> between my family and whoever, I wouldn't be homeless. I uh, went to the hearing the other day regarding his eviction, and what I saw was both encouraging and disturbing at the same time. So I wanted to come out today to see exactly uh, what the town's intentions were, um, how they planned to conduct themselves, and who they were going to be representing, uh, given some of the paperwork. There's certainly some doubt in the case. There's no actual signature. Even in Massachusetts Rules of Civil Procedure, they have to have a judgment that's signed. Just like the Const Massachusetts Constitution says in Article 4, we have the right to govern ourselves. We are the government. Th there's no evidence of a contract. I've demanded okay, a contract. Look, so on the back, there's phone numbers. Hi, uh, this call uh, may be being recorded. Okay. And I'm calling to find out what your address is. Hi there. We're recording. We're recording. We're tax collector. You're looking for the tax collector? Yeah. Okay. So why are we recording? <laughs> Just for our protection and yours. Transparency. Through the double doors, take a left, last door down on your right. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good day. Hi, we're recording today. Looking for the tax collector. What's, What's, his, name right what's there? his first name? Paul. Paul. Hello, Thank Paul. A rumor has it that the folks calling themselves the town of Palmer are going to be stealing a man's house today. Could I uh, show you a document when you have a second? Okay. Okay. So it is a judgment, it's you're a judgment. saying? It's a legal judgment. Yeah. Did, uh, did the gentleman in question, has he signed a contract? So you guys claim the right to seize his property despite the fact that he had no contract with you? We don't have a contract with any of our taxpayers. They're obligated under the law to pay taxes how, on these properties. How is that obligation created? I'm not prepared to answer that question at this moment. Is that because the answer is that you have men with guns in cages who will put them in cages if they don't ridiculous. do what you say? You guys are ridiculous. You, you, you just don't, you, you're not... Well, what'll what'll happen to Jay Noon today if he decides he doesn't want to be evicted? Well, we'll have to wait and see, won't we? No, no. There's an answer to that question. There's an answer to it. Well, I'm not going to give it. Why? Are you afraid to mention the violence? Are you afraid, afraid of, are you afraid, afraid to, of are you afraid to admit to the violence inherent in your system? No, there won't be any violence. Why? Why is that? There will be no violence because this is a peaceful. Process. Is it not? It's not violent when this somebody takes you and puts you in a cage. Process. If I were no, to take you by force and put you in a cage. We're not planning on putting anybody in a cage. But that you will, won't you? Intent. You're not planning on it. It's not no, your intent. Not but you will, won't you? What no, can, you I, can I have my paper? Office? Can I have my paper back, please? That's my property. Yes, it is, and you shall have it. And just like uh, our friend's property is his property, me. I would like Excuse for that me. not to be stolen either. This woman is refusing to answer questions on the public record. As you can see, we're video recording here. Yep. Uh, she is refusing to admit that her and her associates are planning to steal a home this afternoon. We're not uh, Mr. Any Frederick, homes. are you going to be involved in that stealing? We're not stealing any homes, and we're not putting anybody in case. What do you call it when you take something that isn't yours? Mr. So, Frederick, do so you, 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 in, you, you instruct uh, somebody who works for us to close the door, not be transparent, and talk to, talk to people? That doesn't seem very professional or community building. What's your first name, sir? Do you have any comments on the uh, taking of someone's property without their consent? 
They love running away from us, Pete. Jeez. There are some people in this building that are threatening to steal property from people. You may want to look Sir, into it. Looks pretty clear who you're protecting. Ridiculous. <laughs> Dude, there's three cops and two bureaucrats behind a locked door. Do you guys steal homes or is it the sheriff that does that dirty work? Mr. Burns, do you have any thoughts on that? He's friendly, he's waving. Let's yep. see if I agree. How's it going, guys? How's it going, guys? Good, I'm recording. On foot? This is restricted? restricted area. Well, I thought it was for vehicles about driving back here. I'm just uh, wondering if uh, you and your colleagues are planning to uh, take a man's property today. I'm not sure I'm aware of what you're talking about. A man named Jay Noon. So there's an unsigned order. What's your name? Uh, I'd prefer not to disclose that right now. Think about your actions. He said you'd have answers for me. How does it feel to work for an organization that has a monopoly on violence? Does it make you feel like a gangster? <laughs> I thought that was funny. Have you thought about well, the repercussions for this individual and his family? Is there anybody who'll talk to us? How are you doing, sir? Just care for a DVD? Some videos on there we've made? Traveling around. Now, what's your what name? are you guys, man? Robert Frederick. Robert, I'm Ian. Yeah, how you doing? Well, shake your hand. Uh, are you guys going to be involved in taking the home that is scheduled to be uh, where a man is scheduled to be evicted today, or is that the sheriff that does that? The sheriff or a constable is, in, is, is serves civil process in Massachusetts. Group of liberty. Other folks. Are you the guys with the the yellow bus there or something? That's me. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. Have you seen it before? I haven't seen the bus. I've, I've seen it, you know, on video. On really? Thanks, Robert. Yep. Have a nice day. Take care. Yeah. I called Angus Rushlow and I told him he was in default of his of his notice because he's late. I called him right up and he says, well, uh, we're not ready to do it. He says, we got 10 days. This doesn't say on your notice is 10 days. And he says, well, we got 10 days. And he goes, hold on. And then he's like, I have to call the town's lawyer. I'll call you back. And actually, at the town hall at 11.30 today, they're having an auction for properties that they've already seized. How's it going, guys? Hey, guys. I'll let you know what's going on again. What's for sale today? McNally. Let's see. Can I get your name? Sure, I'll give you my name. Okay. I work for a Republican. What, and what, is that a... It's a newspaper. Okay. It's a now town-owned properties. So can you tell us who you're taping for? Because there might be people in the room that are unwilling to eat. Videotape. Sometimes what happens, sir, is it has a chilling impact on the proceedings, so we want to make sure that uh, everyone's comfortable. Well, they shouldn't be comfortable because they're bidding on stolen property. You're someone intimidating, quite frankly, and they'd like to know. So who are you with? Uh, can I ask why why you would say that I'm intimidating? I've been nothing but I, I, I've heard kind of people. Of I'm here today because a man up the street, uh, he's been threatened with his property being stolen. <laughs> And here's the order. It's not even been signed. He never had a contract made with anybody. He never breached the contract. And so we, we came down. And that, that is a property, ladies and gentlemen, just so there's, there's no miscommunication. That is a property that is not being offered today. Ten, twenty thousand dollars now. Ten and twenty thousand dollars to bid the visit. Ten and twenty thousand dollars if you were. We sold for forty seven thousand five hundred dollars. Give him a round of applause. Oh, come on. Give him a round of applause. There we go. A lot of people I'd never even met before showed up. People uh, who just seen it on Facebook, they had no idea about, you know, the Free State Project or the Free Keen Movement or anything like that. Guy right down the road, practically been a neighbor of mine, didn't know me. Showed up, says, I support you 100%. Super awesome to come out and support my bro. He, he truly believes in uh, everything he does and the ideas of liberty. And meeting other people that believe in those ideas are, is key to achieving a free society. Thanks, everybody. Really appreciate it. When your grandchildren ask you where you were in the second revolution, what are you going to tell them? I mean, that's what it comes down to. Is uh, <clears throat> Were you a slave? Were you sitting there watching MTV and, um, you know, uh, the talking heads? On, on the mainstream, or you're out doing something and making a point. Thank you guys for your support.